Yeah. Are we picking a, a leadership team or? Yeah. Richard. Yeah. Richard. Yeah. Richard Williams. Oh, Richard. Richard Williams. Well, we have the initial plan. Um, I uh, sort of pitched it to everybody that we have all have to be confident when we go to bed, confident enough to be able to sleep for the night so that we can turn up tomorrow fully refreshed. Uh, so that's really the challenge. And I do think we're probably 95% of the way there. We've got about another 15 minutes to go. And I think in that 15 minutes, we can close that 5%. I'm going to go through uh, the tools here that we're going to use. Once we go over to site, uh, the guys will then split you down into three groups and go through the power tools. I am uh, Mario Dilstefler. I am the director of a school for children who have uh, mental disability. I am happy again to, to receive uh, your students because uh, the, the work they uh, they do uh, is terrific for the for the school. Betty drill, mummy drill, and dinky winky baby drill. Okay. What is key is that cutting list because then you can cross check the cutting list to the material. Are we happy with the plan? Are we happy with the plan? Are we going to have a wander around and just check that everything, everything's yes, fine? Okay. Yes. We have to do other cuts. Okay. So the groups have just turned up, they've established themselves in their teams, they've got all their wood off to the painting stations and they seem to be cracking on pretty well now. Now they've got on the ground, they've actually seen the, the project, they've now translated all their prior planning from last night to today and obviously had to adapt quite a bit of it. Yeah, well, I think two challenges for us so far. One is just getting a, a group of 30 type A personalities to uh, get organized together. Uh, and the second has been, we did all of our planning, but some of them, uh, when you get on the ground here, you see things are a little bit different than you expected, and so just adjust it. So, it's a So, it's a project to, for mediation with animals, um, and the, the school has bought two goats for the next term, and they'll bring the goats in, and the students will work with the, with the goats. Well, I think one of the things that we talked about in the kickoff of the program is establishing both a common language for the cohort and also a common experience, and that's really important to building high-performing teams, and uh, I think we're off to a good start. I think people are working very well as a team today. I think they got into the game very fast. You saw when they started planning yesterday, everybody was into it, lots of energy, common purpose, ready to go. Teamwork is about sharing one common goal and building on each other's strengths to have some fun doing the task and fun delivering the task. And that's what we're about. Hopefully we're going to get there. With teamwork, our team will finish on schedule with a quality product. What I'm really enjoying about this is just how everybody's come together as one team. There's no levels, we're all working to a common objective. Everybody's comfortable in their skill area and we're just getting on with it. Teamwork for me is about doing what's best for the team as opposed to what I want to do. Teamwork for me is about bringing together lots of different people, different skills, different talents and making work fun by using those skills and talents. Uh, the team has really been fantastic, we've worked so well together, everyone's jumped in, um, carried stuff, uh, cut things, everyone that thought they couldn't do something has just jumped in and done it. Uh, we're ahead of schedule so that's great and look forward to seeing the final product. Whether you're painting, sawing wood, building things, or running a big program, you need teamwork. You can do nothing else without it. Without the teamwork, we'll not be able to do anything. So thanks a lot for the whole team. The best part about teamwork is everybody coming together to achieve a common goal. No. Come on, keep No. Coming. I think we've, we've, I think we have risen to most of the challenges. I think um, organising the right people to do the right tasks, making sure that you know, just as we started, that everybody was comfortable. You know, once they got into the physical environment, you know, that we're, they were going to be able to actually contribute and add value. And that was back to this, make this, make sure we're working efficiently. We're in there. No. For the whole site, 
Yeah, I think everyone's working well. What's good to see is other groups communicating with other groups. Team Go, are we going to do it? Come on, Go, come on! Let's do it, guys, come on! And um, and I don't know. We've had a great time. So I'd just like everybody here to uh, to, to just show your appreciation for, for Marie and the children and the job that was um, nice to do. Well, I arrived about five minutes before the end, so I saw the fantastic climax at the end, where everybody was really focused on achieving this fantastic result. Um, so what I saw was the cohesion. What I saw was the exhilaration of the job well done. Fantastic. Well, this isn't a casual thing. This is actually about a group of people making the best of a learning opportunity. And they're going to make the best of that learning opportunity if they're actually all comfortable with each other and if they're all interacting with each other. And the best way, the easiest way to do that is to actually get everybody comfortable. And by far and away, the quickest way of doing that is to give them a common experience. Something exhilarating, something with purpose, and something where they can all get to know each other in a hurry and break down all the barriers. As soon as we can do that, we can then get into the real learning process. The week, does it look like we're standing around? The week, does it look like we're standing around? Do we look like we're standing about? The week, does it look like we're standing about? The week, does it look like we're standing about? The week, does it look like we're standing around?